Guys, we're doing a November favorites video. Let's talk about my favorites for this month. Also, there's like a weird shadow like on this side of my face. Hello. I need to sit over here. The light is way better. Light's better over here. First off, foundation. I have so many. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll just have seen my, well not just have seen, I guess it was a while ago now, like a week and a half ago. You'll have seen that I posted a pile of foundations and concealers and I was like, what am I doing with all of this? Good question, Taylor. What are you doing with all of this? Not wearing all of it, that's for sure, but let's talk about what my favorite ones are. So for many, many, many years, I have been a diehard Urban Decay fan. This stuff right here, Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup in shade 2, was my ride or die all through college. Literally the only foundation that I wore. And then, on a whim, just because I wanted to, I bought this stuff. And my world was changed. This stuff is incredible. My number one foundation, I'll probably never stop wearing it ever until I find my next favorite. But for real, this is in the shade, oh gosh, doesn't even say. I have no idea what shade this is in. I would say it's probably like beige. Oh, there it is. It's written in black on a dark brown thing. Okay, Tar, get it together. Light beige is what this is in. And it's beautiful. And it has sunscreen, which... Urban Decay's is not. Now I always use a moisturizer with sunscreen so it's not like the biggest deal, but if I can get more sunscreen on my face, that would be great because I'm not trying to get wrinkles. So, yes, number one foundation. This stuff is the shiz. Let's talk about concealer. Another product that I've been using for years and years and years is this Naked Skin Concealer, which I still love with my whole heart and it will probably always be my number one, but I just bought Shape Tape. It doesn't move. It has incredible coverage and it's wonderful. So yeah. I like to mix it because this is just like like a quarter of a shade too dark for my skin by itself. I have been mixing it with Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer by Hard Candy, which is like the most underrated drugstore concealer ever in shade Ultra Light. So this is like bright white, like you could never wear that by itself. So I mix these two together a lot and it's, cause this is like tattoo concealer is what it's sold as. So that thing's gonna cover your dark circles up like none other. So the two of these mixed together is like the best combination I've ever had. So let's talk about lipsticks for a little while. You guys know, you know that I'm all up in the lipstick game. And so matte lipsticks have been my thing lately even though I hate how drying they are. I know guys. I know, trust me, I know. But Milani is a drugstore brand that I can find at my local Walmart, so you probably can too. Um, and I know they've got like super awesome glitter shadows, but I'd never tried their lipsticks. And then I was walking through Walmart and I was like, I need 12 of these because they're matte. Let's try them out. So I did. I have three shades, but the other shade is lost somewhere. Got these two shades here right now. Um, one is a bright true red and it's in devotion and the other is a nude which I am loving and it's called adorable it is adorable Milani a plus in naming and they look incredible and they are super super matte so they are gonna dry your lips out a little bit but I still love them I love them just as much as I love NYX soft matte creams which it's hard to beat the next thing I want to talk about is like perfect for the holiday season coming up. It's Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Liquid Liners. And they are like just a punch in the face of glitter. Which is my favorite way to be punched in the face. And I'm wearing it right now, if you can see that, the gold liner. Um, so that one that I'm wearing right now is Midnight Cowboy, but I also have Glam Rock. They're beautiful. I love these. You should pick them up. I've heard that NYX also has glitter liners for cheaper, but I have not tried them, so I don't know how they hold up to these. So, it's my two cents. And last but not least, 
our lashes. You guys know, if you saw my last makeup tutorial, that I have ventured into the world of fake lashes and have not been disappointed. I used to hate fake lashes because I had to wear them for my dance competitions in high school and they were a pain in the butt and they always made my eyes hurt and I probably wasn't wearing them correctly nor was I wearing the right ones because they were way too big for my eyes. So I was a fool back then in my younger days. But I have gotten wiser now and I am using the Eiler Texture Multi-Pack in number 117. So it comes with a pack of three and glue. And they look like, I'm wearing them right now, but they look like this. And they're super natural looking. They taper at the end so they don't, you don't have this blunt lash. And I always get compliments on them. They're seriously gorgeous. And if you're looking for something to oomph your eyelashes up just a little bit without making you look like a drag queen, unless that is your preferred look, and then go for it. These are for you. And they're like 10 bucks for a pack of three. And you can wear one lash set for like 10 years if you want to. You should probably clean them though because that would be gross. Mm -hmm. I'll probably just need to do an honorary mention because it's my favorite for the Tarlet and Bloom palette. If you haven't bought this yet, you're a fool and you should go buy it immediately. It is my favorite eyeshadow palette that I have ever bought. It has the perfect combination of matte shades and shimmer shades. It looks like this. I hit pan on Flower Child and I cried. It's fine. I think that you will love it too. I also have their little baby. Oh, I almost forgot. I think I'm late to the party with this one, but Tartlet Tease Palette. Oh my gosh. It has like six shades and they're the, it's the most perfect travel palette that you will ever have in your entire life, first of all, especially if you're doing this in the fall. Um, so the each row can be used as like a full eye or you can mix and match. Um, I've been using the rows as full eyes because I think they look amazing together. Here, just take a look at that. You can't beat that. It's amazing. There's a rich chocolate brown. There's a plum color. I'm obsessed and it's the perfect thing to take with you when you're traveling. Previously to travel, I had been I had been using the Naked 2 Basics, which is also great and I'll probably honestly bring them both together. And since around the holidays you'll probably be traveling to see family, this is good. Also, it would make a perfect perfect. Bless my soul. It will make a perfect stocking stuffer. Just stick that right in there. I'm not lying. Okay, I've babbled on to you long enough about all the things that I love, so I'm going to go, but thank you for stopping by, and I love that you guys are watching my videos. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments, and I will do my best to make sure that you get that. See you later.